thanks so much for watching. I know that uh, it kind of just depends on when and where and what's going on in your life as to whether or not you watch and when you watch and all that. But thank you for choosing to watch. And uh, thank you for turning in. Uh, thank you for your desire to know more about the Lord and about how to follow Him and to follow Him more closely. What we want to do just quickly is just re-examine the shield of faith that Paul talks about in Ephesians 6 as he lists the armor of God. And he says, in all circumstances, take up the shield of faith so that with that shield you can extinguish the fiery darts of Satan, fiery darts of the wicked. And so he tells us the purpose of our shield, the purpose of the shield of faith. And so um, the Romans, the Roman army, had these gigantic shields, uh, four feet, maybe even up to six feet tall, that they would cover in leather so that when enemies fired their arrows, those arrows were on, on fire, they shot their arrows, they would then be put out by this wet leather on their shields. And so he says our faith, our faith is something we hold in front of us to protect our bodies. I know the sun's kind of messing with you there, sorry. Um, faith is something that, that we hold against and protect our bodies. Our faith, our, our uh, faithfulness to the Lord, our strength is preserved by the Lord. And uh, that's the purpose of faith. Okay, so I got distracted, sorry. Let's, let's lock back in. So our faith is what... Um, propels those fiery darts of Satan. And those can come from any direction, all sorts of angles that Satan uses to come after us. But notice one thing that Paul says in uh, 2 Timothy 1. Remember at the beginning of that chapter, or beginning of that section at least, he tells Timothy to not be ashamed of Paul or Paul's sufferings as the servant of God. Because, he says, verse... 12, I'm not ashamed, I'm not ashamed, because I know whom I have believed, and I'm persuaded, I'm convinced, notice, convinced, he is able to keep that which he's entrusted to me. And so, we looked at Abraham from Romans 4 yesterday, why did his faith grow strong? Because he was convinced I was able to do what he said he would do. Paul says, I'm not ashamed of Christ, I'm not ashamed because I know whom I have believed, Christ, that he is able to keep what he's promised to me. So very similar in terms of the wording and, and certainly the same exact concept. But you see what Paul starts off with. I'm not ashamed. He tells Timothy, don't be ashamed of me and my suffering. He says, I'm not ashamed, even though I suffer, even though I'm in prison. This most likely or clearly Paul's final imprisonment right before his death and execution. So Paul says, I'm not ashamed, so you don't be ashamed of this. So you see how Paul's faith is God is able to do what he's promised. He's able to protect what he's given me. So therefore I have confidence. Therefore I'm not ashamed. And as we think about strength in the Lord, fighting with the, the fight that God wants us to fight, and fighting in battle for the Lord, we have to have this confidence. But it's not self-confidence alone. It's not uh, arrogance, but rather it's confidence in the Lord that he is able to do what he's promised to do. And so Paul says, I'm not ashamed. He has that boldness to follow the Lord and to be faithful. Okay. Um, and what's so neat about this to me is that Hebrews 11 is the chapter we call the faith chapter. And so we have this, this list of of just back to back to back to back faithful people, men and women of God, over and over, who show their faith through their obedience. And at near the end of that chapter, the writer of Hebrews says, because of them, God is not ashamed to be their God, to be called their God. And so what a wonderful thought that because of our faith, we should not be ashamed. But also because of our faith, God is not ashamed of us. We bring glory to Him when we rely on Him and we put out those fiery darts hurled by the world. And so, uh, just just lean on that uh, for just a minute. Think about that. Let that kind of uh, 
marinate there in your mind for a minute. That our faith not only puts out and, and tries to stop the attacks against our souls, but it's also what gives us confidence to move forward in our battle, to move forward in our, in our faithfulness. And we're also thankful that we serve a God who's not ashamed of us as his people. Hope that you have strength as you fight the battles uh, that God wants you to fight. Thank you for joining in. Sorry about the lighting issues as the sun broke through the trees, but we're thankful that, that we have the beautiful sunlight today. And um, hope that you have a great rest of the day. And as it's a Wednesday, if you're watching live or watching uh, today there on Periscope, um, hope that you have a wonderful evening as you meet uh, with Christians tonight to study and to... Um, to, uh, to study God's Word together and know that that's a blessing. If you're in the Parish, Alabama, or the Jasper, Alabama area, we'd love to have you tonight at Parish Church of Christ. If I can ever be of any, any assistance to you, please let us know. Thanks again for joining. To God be the glory, and may He bless you as you live for Him.